On this episode of The Road Chose Me, I'm exploring the beautiful wilderness and national parks of Botswana. Oh, and I'm getting way too close to these guys. For many months now, I've been told Botswana will be an absolute highlight of my time in Africa. With their new policies on protecting wildlife, they have probably the highest population of elephants anywhere in Southern Africa. So I'm extremely excited to dive in and check it out from top to bottom, left to right. Here I'm driving across a dry lake, heading towards the famous Baines Bolbabs. Off the dry lake bed, the tracks are all deep rutted sand. The Jeep doesn't have any trouble in four wheel drive and I power on through. Early in the morning, I head into Maremi National Park, eager to see the wildlife on offer. I'm cruising around these small tracks, looking left and right. There's elephants, there's giraffes, there's zebras and gemsbok. But there's really only one thing I'm keeping my eyes open for. I actually filmed this while sitting in the driver's seat so you can get a sense of how close I was. It was really strange to see all the animals walking by in the background. I only thought that happened on nature documentaries, but it turns out they really have no choice. The animals obviously know the lions are there, but the lions seem half asleep and they never even really moved. All the animals were pretty nervous about them. As I drive away from those male lions, I start to wonder how far away the females could possibly be. I turn a tight corner and actually have to bury the brake pedal. I nearly run these two over. They're literally napping right in the middle of the sandy track. I pull over less than five yards away from these two and sit and watch for well over an hour as they yawn, roll on their backs and stretch. They never even really look at me and they have absolutely no interest in the Jeep. I do have to say, I've never complained about how fast the power windows go up, but on this occasion, I was pretty eager for them to go faster. Just around the corner is Hippo Pool, where I sit and watch this huge group for a while. Of course, every time I put the camera down, one of them does an enormous yawn, which I fail to capture. And then, of course, there's the ever-present giraffes. These guys look just as dopey as you think they'd be, and they often just stand and stare with a really blank look on their face. After Maremi, we jump in a traditional canoe and cruise up the Okavango Delta. Seeing these guys from down at water level really makes me respect how absolutely enormous they are. From there, we drive straight over to the central Kalahari Desert. This place is absolutely enormous and one of the most barren places I've ever seen in my life. This footage is sped up 10 times and is over the course of quite a few hours one afternoon. You can see the isolation is just endless. There is absolutely nothing and nobody all the way out here. Of course, there are some animals getting around, though what they eat, I have absolutely no idea. In the early evening, we're treated to a stunning sunset and I catch this elephant silhouetted by the sun. Later on, the lightning show is absolutely breathtaking. In the early morning, we find this pride of lions who have obviously just gorged on the gemsbok they killed. They're panting and have huge bellies from all the meat they've just eaten. After a few mind-blowing days in the Kalahari, we finish off our time in Botswana at a rhino sanctuary. Not only is that horn enormous, check out how sharp it is. That thing's deadly and I'm pretty sure it would go right through the side of the Jeep if she was so inclined. I was told repeatedly Botswana would be stunning and even still, I was utterly unprepared. This place is simply amazing. <laughs> 